Good morning. Welcome to another uh, project. This one is going to be a cape style. 28 feet wide, 32 feet deep. Good day. Yep. 32, 28. Perfect. 32. We'll go do a diagonal. 43, 1. Whoops, I got a kink in the tape. That would make it imperfect. 42, 6 and a half. I think we'll have it. 6 and a half. Perfect. Hey, what's a concrete worker's favorite dessert? Rebar pie. Comment your best construction down below. I'm sure you can do better than mine. Eighteen yards for twenty eight by thirty two. It's also going to have a six by six curb on top all the way around just to build it up a little bit higher. See, we've got the rebar put in place. We have the inside one. We're putting these across so they maintain six inches all the way down through, all the way around. Uh, so we should be ready to pour concrete maybe tomorrow or the next day, depending on the weather. Okay, forms are almost all stripped. Once we get those done, we'll pull them apart, put them near the trailer. And then we're going to load them on at the end of the day, get them out of here. <laughs> All right, let's put some walls up. So we're not actually plumbing this at this point. We're just getting it braced so we can get all the walls up. The next wall section that we want is down under some of these walls. I'm walking right out the door. <laughs> oh, so this one's the right way. Oh, it was the very first one, wasn't it? There it is. And no, this is this one goes here. Perfect. I may have to tip it up inside the wall or something. I can't quite. Uh, I don't have enough room. How's that for level? A plum. Perfect. Whoa! Chad just said perfect. I can't look at you right now. I'm holding something. Good. That'd be... That's good there. All the top plates are done. Now we have the box sill on one side. 
we'll put the ladder hoist up against that. So we'll bring the eye joists in. We'll set them up over there, come back and then run them up. Should be fun. Just pull it a little closer. Okay. How does that look, Chad, for you? Yep, yep. Perfect. The front gable wall is all framed and sheathed. We're going to sheath this, sheath this now. Hey, so welcome to Chad's Joke Corner. So, can you name a professional that uh, calls a triangle a square? A carpenter does. Shouldn't we know our shapes? Well, back to work. Time is money and money is whatever that saying is. So we've been a day and a half preparing these walls. They're all ready. We hauled it, brought in the, the big guns, Josh, and the little guy, you all know, Dan, <laughs> Chad, and myself. So we're gonna tip this up. The wind's blowing just a little bit. It is raining. It's supposed to be a thunderstorm in a bit, but. All right, let's do it. If you slip, you're crushed. More, more, more. It is nailed into the bottom, so it shouldn't. Okay. You got that? What? Are we right here? Okay. Don't push that window out, Dan. Yeah. I'm out of room. Okay, you guys got it? Level on the saw again. Yep. We are now going to tip, start tipping up rafters. And we'll do them one at a time, of course. Nail them in. It goes pretty quick. This actually shows up really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
Okay, we, it's, it's really raining pretty hard, but we'd like to get a couple courses of plywood on both sides and put some paper on that, some roof wrap, get it dried in a little bit. What a beautiful day. It's going to be a lot hotter than yesterday. It's supposed to be in mid 80s. It was it was nice yesterday. It was 70, but it was pouring rain, so we were soaked, but we were not sweating visually. So, we've cleaned everything up, took all the bracing down both sides, and we're cutting Chad's cutting the the studs to build the knee wall all the way across here and on this side. We don't want to go up any more with plywood until we've secured that to firm it up because it's quite a bit of bounce to the rafters right now so we'll do the knee walls and we'll put collar ties across that'll make like a, a the letter a with extra support down at the bottom so it's really strong it's going to be nice all right we're putting collar ties across now creating the ceiling all right This is such a beautiful summer day. It is a little bit warm again. It's supposed to cool down about 10 degrees tomorrow. We'll have this roof done uh, another half an hour or so. I'm putting the ridge cap on up there now. So I'm going to disappear, and go up on the roof, do that ridge cap. It's a pretty nice breeze up here. I love it. I might just stay up here the rest of the day. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> the ridge lined up perfectly. It was nice and straight across here. Okay, we're all done cutting and carving. Let's see if it fits. Locks that in. Perfect, perfect, perfect.
and wow we are done 28 by 32 ginormous cape style garage with an option for an apartment upstairs it's big enough i'm just going to do a walk around we'll take a look at the outside then we'll go upstairs and see how big that is let's go for a ride vinyl siding eight foot six ceilings those were nine foot wide by seven foot six garage doors 36 inch entry door no charge for the view. So this is the back side. I don't know if I can back up enough to get, it's pretty tall. There you go. And we can look at the other side. All right, let's go inside. Beautiful fall day. Even though it's not fall, I guess. Knock, knock. Come in. <laughs> okay, so there's the doors. You can see daylight down there at the bottom. That's because in packaging, the rubber seal underneath um, gets squished. So it takes a while for that to build down. You can see the six inch curb that we put on all the way around here. That has rebar pin, half inch rebar pins drilled in and then as well as a row of rebar in that curb all the way around. It's super solid. The uh, eye joists, see if you can see those. These are 16 inch they're called NI-80s, but they have a three and a half inch top and bottom two by four. Um, they, depending on your load, they will make those smaller. They'll also sometimes go 12 inch, 14 inch, 16, uh, just depending on what your span is, what you need. So uh, over here, you can see we got the stairs in. They're a seven and a half inch rise. They work, came out perfect. The, the overall height, I can't remember now, but seven and a half inches work, 15 steps. And then the 16th step was up on the floor. Uh, something people ask about quite often. We cut this, we put this eye joist in after the fact, and we used the rim board double to just fill across there for a header and to help secure the stairs too. Uh, let's go upstairs. So this could easily be an apartment up here. I'll just give you a, a feel for what it is. Okay, so the ceilings are just over nine feet to the, to the collar ties. And then the rafters come down at a, a 45 degree angle. So you can stand up pretty much about to here. Knee wall to knee wall in this one is 20 feet wide. So you could actually get two bedrooms 10 feet wide on each side of this. If you had a center partition here, you could come as far as you wanted. This is, let's see, four, that's 12 feet. So two 10 by 12 bedrooms. Let me spin you around and you can see the other side, what's over here. I kind of wish I had, oh, while I'm going, let me, let's talk about this. It's a three inch gap all the way across there to a vented soffit. So you get good airflow up. We vented the entire ridge. That's vented. So let's see. It's just a huge, huge place up here. About 600 square feet. So there would be room to tuck a, a full bath over in that corner. You could have a, uh, an L-shaped kitchen here easily. And then the, the rest of the open area could be uh, like a, a dining, living, 
family area uh, that's wide open. Yeah, so this is what, what we got. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's um, on to the next job. <laughs> hey, if you like this video, please subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, those of you that have been subscribers, I so appreciate it. I just want you to know that. Uh, hit the like button because that helps uh, the algorithm and uh, tap the bell. Make it ring. All right. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.